Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Pure Business. I hope that you are having a fabulous evening and a fabulous week. Uh, I, um, uh, I'm glad that you guys are here. Thank you for showing up and thank you for staying a student. I'm sure once you saw who tonight's trainer was, you were like, oh, got to put that on my calendar. Got to make sure I uh, listen to this rock star. And uh, it's, been a little, it's been a hot minute since we've heard from her on Pure Business, so I'm excited to welcome Welcome her back. So tonight you are going to hear from Angelai Robinson. And Angelai is a senior executive director who has been with Pure Romance for six years. She has actually held that title as a senior executive director all year, which speaks volumes about the determined women on the team. As a matter of fact, the team has actually raised up two rookies of the year, which is huge, 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 huge. So Angelai is an author and considers her energy and determination to be her biggest strengths. Personal retail sales, $95,000 already in for this year. Um, I say already in for this year. I guess it is the end of the year. Ah! <laughs> um, okay, this number blew my mind. Activations, personal activations, people that she has brought into the business and helped them uh, achieve a successful business, 78 78 folks that she's brought into the business um, and activated them. And group sales, over $1 million, $1 million in group sales. A book that has made a big impact on Angelai is Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter by Curtis Jackson. And when we ask Angelai, um, what does it mean to live alive? She gave me probably the most precise answer, and that's living a fearless lifestyle. I love that. Something that most people don't know about Angelai, and I, this one just, it makes me smile. I wish I could have actually seen this. Like, I'm going to have to ask Angelai to maybe send me a video if she has any of them, but um, Angelai actually has performed at the Apollo Theater theater several times, y'all. Uh, and I have heard this girl sing. I've watched her uh, on a bus on a trip getting down. So I could just imagine her at Apollo Theater. So friends, buckle up. Angelai always brings it. Tonight, she's going to share how to create business opportunities and find new customers. So Angelai, are you ready to take it over? I am so ready. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for that amazing introduction. No pressure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yes, thank you. How is everybody doing? Thank you for all the love in the chats and all that great stuff. I am really, really excited about today's presentation. And I'm going to share my screen with you in a moment, and we're going to get to the PowerPoint. But I just wanted to say, well, to tell you the reason why I'm excited, right, is because I love seeing people happy. And I know that you being successful in your business or just in your life is something that is going to make you happy. Everybody essentially is in the pursuit of happiness. And hopefully by the end of this training, what I show you, you will realize that I'm no better than you. You're no better than anybody else. It doesn't matter what title you have in this business. Everybody has a special superpower or something that they need to tap into that is going to allow them to be as successful as they want to be when they put the work in because we're going to go over some personality types and things like that that are like polar opposites and it's like it doesn't matter who you are you don't have to be effervescent and bold and loud and have all this energy like me to be a success but it's all about the consistency if you guys have heard me say it who knows about cpp it's consistency it's passion and it's patience and when you have great leadership, which we do with our um, with our company, with Chris Chicanelli, with Patty Brisbane and all of the amazing leaders, we can all be successful. So who's ready for a fresh start? Who's now, I'm, when I say fresh start, I'm not telling you to take your foot off the gas just yet because we still have a lot of month left, right? So all of you that are still going for those goals, still keep pushing, but I also want you to be getting things in gear to carry over into 2022, right? So keep pushing, don't take your foot off the gas. All right, so let me share my screen here with you guys so we can get into this PowerPoint presentation. I'm super excited over this. All right, give me a moment here. And we're gonna make this a little interactive too. So be prepared to be like typing in the chat and things like that because I am gonna have you do that as well. So again, as Kimberly told you, the name of this class is Creating Business Opportunities and New 
customers. So what are you gonna learn today? You're gonna learn how to approach and bring up the pure romance opportunity into the conversation. And I know that a lot of you ladies are a little chicken out there. You don't really know what to say, how to say it, or you're telling everyone that we're a toy company, which we're not, and it's sending people running with their tail between their legs. But we're gonna go over how to approach that um, conversation. And also I'll tell you, I've got some things scheduled to post in the uh, Roadmap to Success group. I've got some videos in there that have like some really great scenarios that are actually acted out. Um, those they're like three years old, but they're still so good. They're so basic. And that's what a lot of us are looking to do is kind of get back to basics, right? You know, pre-COVID, for those of us that were in business pre-COVID, we had a way that we ran our business. And then when COVID hit, we pivoted and then we started doing something different. And a lot of people got stuck, right? If you watched Rise and Grind this morning, put in the chat if you watched Rise and Grind this morning. If you did, then you know, okay, that Andrea Burns was on there today and she was very transparent about her journey pre-COVID, during COVID, post-COVID. And I loved how transparent and just real she was to get you to see she's a rock star in her business. That doesn't mean that she doesn't hit a wall sometimes or you know she doesn't have the success that she once had. Doesn't ever mean that you can't get it back, okay? You're also gonna learn how to utilize the PR Connect app when making connections. Now, we won't touch a lot on this because there's a lot of videos on this, but just some basic ways to be able to use it to follow up, to send out samples, things like that. Very important to use it. That app really, guys, once you learn how to use it, um, just the assets and everything that are in there really makes your life a whole lot easier. And it makes it easier for your customers to shop as well on all of our different social medias, okay? You're also gonna learn how to follow up with new leads, which I I know a lot of us may have parties or we may make sales and then when do you ever follow up with the customer do you you know most times you don't right and we're all guilty of that but there's fortune in the follow-up and some of you just may not know what's the conversation when you follow up what do you say what do you do and how do you follow up where do you go and follow up we're going to cover all of that and how to secure the party because it's all about the party okay and sponsoring leads which parties leads to sponsoring okay as much as parties leads to sales so parties leads to sales and parties leads to sponsoring so we're going to go over all of that okay the golden question where do i find customers oh my gosh i don't know anybody my friends don't support me i just moved here i don't know anyone oh, on my job you know i have a certain position where i can't fraternize with people you know i just can't book parties i don't know anybody that wants to buy my product i don't know i don't know i don't know where do you find them hmm. I love this question. This, this, this right here, this training is my jam. So if you don't know this about me, when I started in Pure Romance, I knew nothing about Pure Romance. Zero, zilch, okay? And in fact, I hadn't held the dildo since 1996. So I didn't know much about those either. <laughs> and I lived in Texas. I moved from Maryland, I live in Texas, and I didn't know anyone here either. So I am definitely the poster child to let you know you can find those customers and you don't have to know people. And in fact, don't worry about the people that you know. They may help you a little bit, may not help you a lot. Don't be offended by it. It's just the way that it is. And any successful businessman or woman will tell you just that, okay? All right, so the first place, the first obvious place for a lot of people is the workplace, okay? Where do you find customers in the workplace? Now, here's the deal. Again, I know that there are some people that work in places or you hold certain positions where you cannot actually promote your business or talk to people about your business. Now, hey, if you're someone that's bold and knows how to kind of work it in there, you know the rules, you know, you've got to do what works for you. I'll tell you a quick story. I did a party, actually two parties with one of my VIPs. She actually had two different parties because she held a certain position in the company and she couldn't allow certain people to fraternize with one another. So she held one party for one group and she held another party for the others. So there's a lot of ways to make things happen and you don't know unless you ask, okay? Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me give you some scenarios here as it pertains to how you approach people 
in the workplace and as it pertains to your personality as well okay now we're going to crush fear this year if you didn't already put that in the chat i want you to manifest that and put it in the chat and say i'm crushing fear this year we're not saying next year because it starts right now today okay so if you haven't already done it or heck if you haven't you want to do it again put it in the chat and say i'm crushing fear this year all right so this is the thing at work on your lunch break you want to know how to approach people on your lunch break in the break room okay for someone that is an influencer someone that is just natural at having conversations things like that you all could easily strike up a conversation and lead her in the direction that you want the combo to go okay very easy for influencers to do not so easy for people that are more of like a compliant personality more of a steady personality type you might feel more comfortable allowing the PR combo to happen organically, okay? And now this is the thing, this can be staged or not, but you should also practice mirroring other personality types that I'll go over shortly. I'll go over that with you shortly, okay? So for those that are not natural conversationalists, you're a little shy, you don't know how to strike up the conversation, we're gonna show you how to make this happen, okay? All right, so here's an example of a coworker, right? You're at work, you're at lunch, maybe you're sitting at a desk or something, and maybe she's talking about a rash on her skin. That is an open opportunity for you to be able to strike up the conversation about what product, can you put it in the chat? What product would you bring up if someone was talking about a rash on their skin, a cut, a scrape, a burn? What would you, what product would you say to that person? Put it in the in the chat. I, everybody's got to get this right, okay? All right, now, maybe she's talking about being exhausted from work and needing a break. Fun girls night, hello, okay? Maybe she's talking about needing more money. So the conversation, if she's talking about a rash, you know, oh my gosh, you know what? I use this really amazing product called Miracle Oil. It's great for so many things and it's all natural. You know, it's something I definitely would recommend that you try and then give them examples of people that either you know. If you don't know, use other people's stories. We have so many examples of testimonials of people that have had great experiences with Miracle Oil. Use those stories and tell those, right? It's a twenty-four dollar product. Product that's an opening. Now, if she doesn't have the money for it, that's an opportunity to introduce the what? The party. It's like you know what? I totally get it. You know, money is tight for a lot of people. Well, you know what's really cool about this pure romance thing that I'm doing is that we actually host parties, and the hostess gets free stuff just for hosting. You could totally like earn this product for free girl and you won't have to be worrying about all that scratching and itching and burning. So many ways you can go with that, right? Now, the one that's exhausted from work. Girl, I get it, right? They are working us like a dog up in here. You need a fun girls night, okay? Like, and she's, again, I don't have the money to go out to a restaurant or go to a bar. I don't have the money. Girl, you don't need the money. Have you heard about Pure Romance? Do you, have you ever heard of them? Well, I happen to be a partner for them. I do. What is Pure Romance? Well, you know, we used to be that in-home party company, and now there's so many ways that we actually work our business. But essentially, you know, we have a fun girls' night, and parties are free. I come to your place of residence or wherever you may want to invite a few girls over. I do a fun presentation of our products, which we have the best in bath and beauty, relationship enhancement products, essential oils, and you get free stuff just for hosting right? And it's fun, girl. You might pee your pants. You have to make sure that your energy is fun. People want to escape life if their life is not where they want it to be, right? They want to laugh, right? They want to escape reality for the moment and just have a fun girl's night. So if you come at someone really dry, you know, and like it's not really fun or like you're unsure or like you don't even believe in yourself, then they may not be so prone to take you up on it. But if you come with some energy, some excitement, a smile, confidence, right? And I know everyone doesn't automatically have that. It's something that a lot of us have to work on. E even I, as much as you see here with me now, like I came in a confident person, but not as confident as I am now. And that is because of 
corporate, that is because of trainings, that is because of you, right? It's because of leadership. So you got to show up to go up and trust me, your life is going to change. You're going to blossom and turn into like a butterfly. It's going to be so amazing. Okay. All right. So now the person that's needing more money. Yeah. Okay. You know, listen, I can't pay my bills. My car is about to be repossessed. Have you ever thought about doing something on the side? You know, like a little part-time gig girl, I don't have the time. I don't, you know, I don't have the time. Oh my gosh. By the time I get home, I'm so exhausted. There is an open opportunity organically for you to begin to talk about what it is that you do. Okay. All right. Grocery store. Here's another, this was great. This was classic, right? So the best thing that could have happened to me was when my sponsor, Dana Barish, and I don't know if she remembers this and if she's still on, but she had like a recorded training, just audio. There was no video, anything like that. It was a recorded training that she would send out to all of her new partners that came into the business, right? And she challenged all of us at the end of that training to go out and try to book a party on the spot. Now, sister girl loves a challenge, okay? Now, she couldn't see me do this. She's all the way in Maryland. I'm all the way in Texas, but I'm doing this for me, right? I wanted to do well in this business. I wanted to make some money. And so I needed to follow the steps, follow the blueprint that was given to me by those that have been doing this for a long time. And she's one of them, right? So this led me to sponsoring one of my, I think she's maybe my second or third uh, team member, okay? This scenario here at the grocery store, okay? So after Dana told us to do that, I went out and I did not work a job like in an office. I work from home. So I didn't really have the opportunity to do that work piece, right? To find customers, you know, book parties at work. I was working from home. So I got my Puro Man's bag, right? Like you better step out. When you step out, wear your pink power suit. Wear all things Puro Man's, a hat, a shirt, you know, a bag, whatever, right? And I would always carry a bottle of Body Dew that was uh, Radiant Orchid was my favorite scent at the time. I would have that in the bag and I would have my calendar. So went to Walmart, okay? This is great. I'm gonna give you two different scenarios of how you can book a party on the spot. First one is in the grocery store line. In the grocery store line, I'm checking out. I take my body do, pull it out of my bag on purpose, okay? So this is what I mean by a staged organic uh, situation. Okay, this is this is going to happen organically, but it's staged. Okay, so I took the body do out, I'll spray it on, and like clockwork, what do you know? Person next to me says, Wow, that smells really good. What is that? Oh, it's body do from Pure Romance. Have you ever heard of us? So, this is really great for the shy girl, for the person that doesn't really or isn't really comfortable starting the conversation. Well, she started the conversation with me, she has allowed me into her space to speak to her about my business because she asked about a product that I put on that I sell in my business, okay? And so it just goes from there. Now you've gotta have a sponsor, you gotta have a, a commercial, sorry. You have to make sure that you have your commercials so that you're not fumbling all over your words when that conversation starts to happen. And there are examples of this commercial on the training site and just practice in the mirror, practice with a family member, you know, practice with a team member, okay? So my commercial had, has always been the same. I haven't really changed it. I've adjusted it a little bit just because we're doing more than just in-home parties. But so when I say, um, it's Body Do from Pure Romance, have you ever heard of us? No. We're that in-home party company for women. We have the best in bath and beauty and things that buzz in the night. That was my commercial five years ago, okay? And no one was ever offended. They laughed, they got it. They understood part of what I did, you know? And that allowed me to either give them a goodie bag and get their information. If you're making goodie bags, don't just give people a goodie bag and not get their information. They're not going to call you and it's not personal. They're just busy and they've forgotten about you the moment they've walked out the door, okay? Unless there's someone that was already ready and willing and wanting to party with you, okay? So that's one scenario. The other one, parking lot. 
you got to have your eyes and ears on at all times. I call it the reticular activator. When you hear someone say something about um, something that's happening with them, with their body physically, like they need a, they have, we have a product that can help them with what they have going on. Um, or you hear them talking about a fun girls night. You've got to be listening for that when you're out and about. That is how I built my business. I would call Dana, my sponsor, right after I like booked a party or something that I did, you know, on the spot. I was always excited when I did this. And you can make it like a game for yourself. Make it fun. What we do is fun, okay? So parking lot scenario, I was in the parking lot. I saw a group of girls and I was walking to my car. I saw a group of girls standing by the car and they were talking about, we need to get together and have a fun girls night. Yeah, girl, we haven't gotten together in a long time. I walked over, okay? Now, not every person is comfortable doing that, this, but for the influencer, the person that's a little more bold, this is perfect for you. So I walked up and I said, I'm sorry, ladies, I don't mean to intrude on your conversation, but did I hear someone talking about wanting to have a fun girls' night? They were like, yeah, yeah. Well, have you ever heard of Pure Romance? And then I go into my commercial and then I talk with them about the free stuff that they can get. I pull out my calendar and the magic word or reference or sentence or phrase, I also learned this from Dana, is that you wanna tell people that you can pencil them in for a date. People don't wanna feel pressured. They don't wanna feel like they're signing a contract, but you can easily get them to pencil you in and you can't act like your book is not already full, okay? Your book may not have any parties on it, but they don't have to know that, right? So the conversation goes, you know, listen, I would love for one of you ladies to host the fun girls night and get you some free stuff, right? My parties are lots of fun. Why don't we just pencil something in the books for you because the holidays are coming or whatever, something could be coming up, make up something, right? And, um, you know, I've got, you know, my calendar is really filling up. We can just pencil you in. And if the date doesn't work for you, you know, like once you get home and if you realize you have something scheduled already, we can always change it. I promise you that if you can just get them on your books, it is very rare that they're going to just flat out cancel. It can happen, but rare, right? If anything, they're going to reschedule, okay? So just get them on your books. Family and family gatherings. This is the best one. Now, your friends and family may not support you, but friends of friends will, friends of family will, strangers that come to the family cookout, you know, family reunion, they will. Again, keep your ears open, keep your eyes open, so many opportunities here. We've got babies there. We've got kids running around, women talking about relationships and talking about work, all the things. And you can introduce what it is that you do either organically because you're hearing them, listening to what it is that they're saying and offering them a solution because that's what we do, right? Is that we are either increasing pleasure or decreasing pain. So if someone has a problem, we have a solution. So you're listening for the problem so that you can tell them the solution, okay? Or you can be direct if you're someone that feels comfortable being direct. You hear someone again talking about needing money. You're listening for the person that is complaining about money. You share amazing stories about yourself. And if you don't have any you know, success stories yet about yourself and all the money you've made or all the amazing opportunities that have been afforded you, you use someone else's story. Can I tell you that I used Dana's story and Angela Dedona's story for probably the first two years of my business? I shared their success stories until I had my own, right? And I still share many people's success stories. But just to let you know, if you don't feel like you have anything to give or to share, share all that your Pure Romance sisters share with you. It's okay to share their stories. It, it's definitely going to lift someone else up and give someone the confidence to try doing what you do, okay? All right, now you also want to listen for the one that talks about not having friends. It's going through a rough spot in life. Then you want to promote the sisterhood. You get it? So the person at the family gathering or what, wherever you are that is talking about needing money, you're promoting sponsoring. If you're listening to the person that is talking about not having a life, not having friends, this, that, and the other, you're promoting the sisterhood. Okay. Um, if you're looking at the fun girl, the fun girl wants to have fun all the time. She's your party girl. Talk to her about actually getting into the business and or doing a party first and then bringing her into the business. Okay. Be fun. Make it sound fun because it is. And the fun girl wants fun. Okay. All right. Doctors and dentist offices, whatever you want to call them, 
These places, I'm telling you, they're a gold mine. Now, I'm giving you like real life scenarios. I'm giving you examples of things that I have gone through that I've done that have caused me to have the success that I have today in this business, okay? So this stuff really works. I'm telling you, put it to use. So one day in the uh, dentist's office, as soon as I walk through the door, like, you know, we always talk about that, you know, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, go, that if you don't do it within five seconds, you're going to talk yourself out of it. So when you feel like, um, like a burst of energy, or you feel like, you know, you get some courage to do something, act on it right away. Don't even think about it. Just act on it. Right. So at the dentist's office, I walk in and I don't know what came over me and what made me want to do this, but I walked up to the front desk and I said, who's the party girl? Who's the party girl? And they're like, huh, what? Who is the fun girl in this office? And they're like, oh, I'm the party girl. I'm the fun girl. And then they're arguing over who's the fun girl. I'm the party girl. You're not the party girl. I'm the party girl. And I'm like, listen, whoever's the party girl, you need to book a party with me because my parties are thebomb.com and you're gonna get so much free stuff and you're gonna have so much fun and all your friends are gonna love you. Don't you think that all of them wanted to host a party? They all wanted, cause they, they all wanted to be the fun girl, right? I can't even tell you how many parties, how many team members I got from that situation and so many more, right? Here's another one, nail salon, spas. Oh my gosh, so amazing, these places as well. Think about it. When you go and get your nails done and your toes done, be honest, okay? Put in the chat, do you talk to people about your business when you go there? Like, is it like a, something that you premeditate in your mind that when you go there, that you are going to speak to one of those women about your businesses? Put it, in, put it in the chat, just be real, because you know what? It's something that's gonna help all of us because a lot of times we just go through life and we're not, what I like to say, on. Like you need to be on, okay? That's how you're gonna grow your business is by opening your mouth and asking for the business. A closed mouth is a closed business, okay? So check this out. Now, let me ask you first in the chat, I want you to put this, the scenario that I just gave you with the dentist's office, is that considered organic or direct? So I walked up to her and I just started the conversation telling her about my business, right? Do you think that that would be considered organic or is that direct? Put it in the chat for me. What do you gotta say? All right. Direct, direct, direct. Okay. Love it. It's actually, it, I, I love that somebody said that it can be direct and it can be organic. Okay. Because I asked the person who was the party girl and I did not lead with my business per se, you could say that it was organic, but the, the way that it happened, the energy in which it happened, how fast it happened, I would consider that one to be direct. Okay. All right. Now here's another one nail salon scenario this is classic and works like a charm and i want everybody to go out and try it as soon as they go get their nails done again their toes done their eyebrows done i want you to do this this is classic okay all right so i went to the nail salon one day and for some reason i did not feel like being bothered which is very rare for me okay i don't know what was going on this day but i'm sitting there i'm getting my nails done and i'm talking to myself i'm in my head and i'm like angie you're really not going to talk to any of these women about your business? I mean, like, you need parties. Why are you not going to say anything? And I'm just like, I really, I'm, I'm literally talking to myself in my head. Like, I just don't feel like talking to anybody, right? So still haven't talked to anyone. Now I'm over getting my pedicure, getting my pedicure done. And I'm now like, it's like the devil and the angel. And then in my head, I'm like, you are really crazy if you walk out of this place and you don't talk to anybody about your business. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to talk to somebody, right? But I did it my way so this is what i did i took my cell phone i put it on mute or silence because you've got to do that otherwise you're going to blow your cover right and i acted like i was taking a call from a hostess this is what i did hello oh my gosh yes i am so excited for your party also are you okay you tell me okay when is the last time that you've actually hosted one of these parties eight years oh my gosh girl you are in for a treat because we have so many new amazing products and you're going to get so much free stuff yeah okay she does she wants to book a party as well 
Well, listen, tell her to reach out to me ASAP because my party schedule is really filling up. This is a very popular time for our parties right now. So yes, tell her to reach out to me and you're also gonna get a benefit just for referring her to me. Okay, girl, I can't wait to see you. I'm so excited. Okay, bye. That's what I did. What do you think happened when I got off the phone? Put it in the chat. What do you think happened? <laughs> what do you think happened when I got off the phone? Yep, exactly. Yep, she did. She asked what kind of party. Hit it, Katie, on the head. She did. She says, oh, my God, what kind of parties do you do? Women don't want to be left out from the fun. They want to be a part of it, right? But if you don't open your mouth, they won't know, right? I've done this type of thing countless times, just like saying it on purpose when I know that somebody's in earshot listening, I'm talking to somebody about my parties and someone always comes over, oh, what kind of parties do you do? They have no clue. They just don't wanna be left out. So yes, the woman next to me in the pedicure bowl, she was a nurse and she booked a party on the spot. I can't tell you how many parties I've gotten from her party. It's, it's you just cultivating your business at that point. Once you actually start to get customers, you book these parties, make sure that you're doing a booking game at every party. You're going to just be cultivating your business and the parties are going to come rolling in. But it's a process. And you always hear Chris talk about you got to commit to the process, detach from the outcome. I did not come into this business booking a whole lot of parties. My first party was not a thousand dollar party. I've had parties where people didn't buy anything or they bought very little. I've had cancellations. But once you learn how to actually work this blueprint, you can master it and you can do amazing things in this business. Trust me. OK. All right. Here's another one. Oh, let me ask the question. The nail salon example, is that an example of organic or direct? Was that organic or direct that I actually had that scenario to go now? Staged organic, get it, Sam, I love it. Yes, I love that you remembered that. Staged organic, yes, yes, you're getting it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm getting hot, I'm getting hot, I'm getting hot. I love this. Listen, girls, we are we are amazing women. This company that we're partnered with is amazing. And I'm telling you, stick around because you don't want to get off this money train. It's only going to get better, okay? COVID couldn't even stop us. It slowed us down a little bit this year. That's okay. We're doing what? Killing fear this year. And next year, we're going to knock the numbers out of the park, okay? All right, so here's another one. Post offices. How many of you go to the post office? Do any of you mail packages, you know, of your pure romance at the post office? Do you guys do that? Okay, a lot of you do. Great. You can have many organic combos and direct combos about what you do, especially this time of the year. Okay? When you're there, you're mailing packages, you've got all these things and blah, 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 going there with your pure old man shirt on, your hat on. People are in the mood to spin. People are happy. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. This can be a depressing time for some, but for those that are in the spirit of giving, that are in the spirit of the holiday, those people, I'm telling you, and even those that are in a depressive state, you coming in with your energy and your fun-loving attitude can help get them out of that. Those people need a party, okay? Love it. So talk to people at the post office. Talk to the people that work there. Talk to the customers that you see there. You know, like I said, if you want a conversation to happen organically, then you want to make sure that you're wearing something that makes them want to speak to you um, or you're doing something like spraying the body do on maybe you're rubbing on some basic instinct you've got to do these things if you want people to approach you right but if you're someone that is you know an influencer you can actually just jump out there and you're, you're cool with that do it okay all right here's another one restaurants fast food etc man gold mine all right I was in Maryland for the holidays and I went to like this carry out. They had these amazing like chicken Philly because like I don't eat red meat and I'm like, so I can't get like a steak and cheese. And my sister turned me on to these chicken Phillies and I walked in to pick up my order and the lady is like clean and everything. And she looks like she's in pain and she's doubled over and she's like, oh, my feet hurt so badly. And I'm just like, what's wrong? And she's like, oh, on my feet and I've got these bone spurs and I've got this going on. Hmm. What do you think I did? I talked to her about her CBD products. 
Yes, I did. And I went to my car and I got a catalog and I gave her my business card and I got her information and talked to her about how this could really help give her some comfort. I shared a story with her about how my husband actually puts the massage melt on his feet before he goes to work because he's on his feet all day. And that helps him to be able to go the day and not be in pain at all or in so much pain. Okay. So now, was this something that was organic? or direct give it to me what you got organic or direct love it love it okay so this one i consider to be organic and here's why i didn't go in and ask or tell her anything about pr initially she spoke to me about her pain and i gave her a what what did i give her she spoke to me about a problem what did I give her? Yes, a solution. Yes. You, listen, you all are amazing. You got to know it. You've got to believe in yourself first or no one else will. You guys got the juice. You got the juice. Okay. Listen, this is so awesome. I love this. Okay. This one, another classic. Okay. Another classic. I'm so excited about what we do. Can you tell? I just like ooze passion about what we do. All right. So I walked into an Applebee's one day. Listen, the waitress, the hostess, the guests, these people, you need to talk to them, right? They need fun, they need money, all of that. So we were in Arundel, Arundel Mills Mall? No, this was out here in Texas. Okay, one of these malls out here. And I walked in with my husband and my son. The moment we walked through the door, this is one of those moments where I said, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I walked in. And I saw a lady sitting at a table by herself. And I just said, hey, babe, I'll be right back. Dashed over to her table. And I said, hi, I don't mean to disturb you, but I just saw you sitting over here by yourself. And I was wondering, you look like you would be so much fun and like you would love to have a fun girls night. Have you ever heard of pure romance? You know what she said to me? And a lot of women have done this. She said, oh my God, my sister and I were just talking about this, but we didn't know how to find a consultant. Do you know how many people want what we have, but they don't know where we are and they don't know how to reach out to us. They don't know what to do. Like they heard of us somewhat. Maybe they think we're like passion parties or they don't know what the name is. They don't know who to reach out to. Okay. That woman booked a party on the spot. And again, so many parties, so many women join my business, join my team, join our team as a result of that one connection. One person can change your whole business. One party can change your whole business. One conversation can change your whole business. I'm telling you, I'm proof of it. And so many other women are. I still have women on my team from that woman. And then you remember the party in the parking lot at Walmart? The, um, the woman that booked the party, her daughter was on my team. She just fell off this year. She was on my team for five years and she was a very important part of the team. She did very well for the five years that she was in, right? So trust me, these connections will build your business, okay? All right, now, would you consider that scenario to be direct or organic? Me walking up to the lady in the restaurant. Okay, yep. I like she said, direct approach that became organic. All right. So you guys are getting it. Are you getting this? Is this is this working for you at all? Is this helping you? And I'm telling you, you're hearing me talk about it. You're going to see some videos about it in the um, Roadmap to Success group. And I'm going to also post some scripts. OK, because I know that scripts are not always enough. You kind of need to see it played out in your mind. And so we're going to have video. We're going to have scripts. And you got a little old me. OK. All right. So. Here we go. Now, we're going on to, hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, now, identifying personality types. This is called the DISC assessment, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna share a lot of information here really quickly. I'm gonna go over it really quickly because I wanna make sure that I finish um, and give you all the other important stuff. But there is a link that Kimberly Buck is gonna share in the chat that will take you to all the information that I'm getting ready to share with you quickly about these personality types. And I will also share it in the roadmap to social selling as well, okay? So here's the deal. Um, how can I say this? 
there, like I said, there are people that are influencers, people that are um, bolder, they're not shy, they can go out, they can talk to anybody, right? Um, but then there are people that just can't do that. What I recommend you try doing, and I learned this many, many years ago for a company that I work for, um, that you can mirror people's personality types and get the result out of them that you would like if you're mirroring their personality types, okay? All right, so the first one, and it's called the DISC assessment right here. Now, I don't know who these two people are on the left side, don't judge me, okay? But we, I, of course, know who these two on the right, Richard Branson, right, okay? And everybody knows who this guy right here is, right? Everybody know who this is? Does everybody know who this is on the right, okay? Everybody know Bill Gates, okay, number C, all right? So check it out. So the C, the compliant person, and I'm gonna go over this quickly, like I said, but you're gonna have the link to go over it, print it out, use it as you will. This works for um, your team, this works for sponsoring, this works for parties, and it works for sales. It can work all across the board, so it's gold, okay? All right, so the compliant person, how do you identify this C style? This person is precise, they're exact, they're analytical, they're logical, they're systematic, they're quiet, right? They don't really express emotions. They're careful, they're formal, and they're disciplined. I want you to also be listening to this to find your personality type, okay? All right, now, what you want to do when dealing with this person is do give detailed information. Do answer questions patiently. Give time to think and decide. Do not keep information to yourself. Do not pressure for immediate decision, and don't be too chatty. This person's not here for it, okay? All right, now, how do you communicate with the C-style person? Use data and facts. Examine an argument from all sides. Keep on task. Do not socialize. Don't dis Well, you want to disagree with the facts, not the person, okay? Focus on quality. Avoid new solutions. Use proven ideas. They don't want to hear what you think can happen. They want proof, okay? Um, also, they don't like to be touched. Don't touch them. Okay, like everyone's not a hugger, ask permission because everybody's not a hugger. Be patient, slow down, do not talk about your personal issues, they're not interested, and explain things carefully. That's the compliant person, C style, right? That's Bill Gates right there, okay? All right, the steady person. This person is calm, steady, laid back, careful, patient, amiable, listens carefully, they're sincere, modest, indecisive, and trustworthy. What you want to do with this person? Slow down, take your time, provide assurances and support, give enough time to decide. Do not be restless or pressure for action. Don't make sudden changes, they don't like that. And do not fail to deliver on your promises, they'll check out, okay? Because they're very trustworthy, they want you to be also, okay? Now, how do you communicate with them? Be patient, build trust, draw out their opinions, present issues logically, relax, allow time for discussions, show how solutions will benefit them. This is perfect when you think about products, they wanna know, well, how will this benefit me? How will me joining your team benefit me? Um, how will me do, booking a party, how will that benefit me, 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 me? How will me using this product benefit me? Me buying this product, how will it benefit me, right? All right, clearly define all areas, involve them in the planning process, slow down your presentation, provide the information that she needs and secure committed commitment step by step. Some people need it step by step. Think about the people on your team. Some people get it like that. Some people need it broken down. Same thing when you're talking to a hostess. Some may just get it and understand the hostess coaching process. Some may not, and they may ask the same questions over and over again. You've got to be willing to work with that person and meet them where they are, okay? Now, Next one, there's two more, the dominant, okay? Dominant person, how do you identify them? They're decisive, tough, impatient, strong-willed, competitive, demanding, and independent. How do you deal with them? Give immediate feedback. Concentrate on the subject and maintain result orientation. They are like straight, no chaser. We want the end result, period, right? Do not frustrate their desire to take action. Don't restrict their power and don't spend time on non-essentials. They don't care. Okay, this also can, you know, kind of cut down on the time that you're giving to somebody that they don't even really care about what it is that you're talking about. This person is just straight to the point, right? Now, how do you communicate with them? Be direct, be brief, <laughs> and to the point, focus on the task, 
stick to business, use a results-oriented approach, identify opportunities and challenges, ensure that they win, use a logical approach, touch on high points, and don't overuse the data. They don't care. They want the bottom line. Don't touch them either, okay? Keep your distance and do not be emotional and do not dominate. Act quickly because they decide fast. They know what they want and they just need the bottom line. You don't have to go through all of the different rigmarole. What are the kit prices? That's all they need to know. Um, how much is this one? What are the kit prices? What all comes in it? Like, what's my buying discount? Bottom line, that's all they care about, right? All right, last but not least is the influencer. This person is natural. This person probably doesn't even need this thing right here. They naturally are able to communicate with people and they're able to be like a chameleon and actually just mirror that person naturally, right? I know this about most influencers. So how do you identify that style? They're sociable, talkative, they're open, they're enthusiastic, they're energetic, persuasive, spontaneous, they're impulsive, emotional, talks more than they listen. <laughs> This is what you do, how you deal with them. Show enthusiasm, smile, chat, focus on the positive, make it fun, let them talk, okay? Do not put them down, don't put down their enthusiasm, don't focus on details, okay? And don't react negatively, always remain positive. This person flourishes in positive energy, okay? How do you communicate with this style? Allow time for socialization. Lighten up, have fun, ask feelings and opinions, use touch. This person likes to be touched. Touch their forearm, touch their back, create a friendly environment. Be friendly and warm, do not ignore. Set aside time for chatting because they're a talker, okay? And let them speak, give them recognition and speak about people and feelings. All right, so real quick, right? I want you to put in the chat, what which one of those personality types do you think I am? Can you put that in the chat? Which one do you think I am? Put it in there fast. Which one do you think? <laughs> Brittany, really? Dominant? Nah. You know, I have dominant characteristics, but definitely an influencer, okay? All right, now I want you, and you can definitely have some of the, all of the traits. You're absolutely right. I want you to put in the chat which one you think you are. Which one do you think you are? Okay, and if it's all of them, if you have a little bit of all of them in you, put that. But put that in the chat. Which one do you think you are? Okay, and now remember what I said. I am going to definitely make sure that I put all that I read like super fast in the, um, I know that Kim Kimberly, I think she put it in the chat and we'll also have it in the Facebook group as well. All right, follow up. Very, very important, right? I'm gonna go through this quickly so that we don't run out of time. See, I'm an influence, I'm a talker, right? Okay, I don't want you to, I don't wanna leave any stone unturned. Follow up, there's fortune in the follow up. Girls, we have to follow up, we have to follow up, we have to follow up, right? In everything, guess what? For those of you that know that we're supposed to do this and we just kind of get off track because we're all guilty, when you follow up, what happens? When you finally decide that you're gonna pick up the phone and get a connect card, reach out to someone and follow up, you usually sell more product, you usually book a party or they say, you know what? I've been thinking about joining once you followed up. So use your social media to do that. Use Messenger on Facebook. Um, sometimes texting or, or, you know, like typing out things is not always the best. Do a voice note. Voice notes really work and just say, hey, you know what? I had a really great time with you at the party last night and I'm so glad you were able to treat yourself. Please let me know if you have any questions about your products and I'd love to know how you're enjoying them. We are a relationship business. That is what keeps your business growing and moving and expanding is that you can't be like, you know, a one night stand with these people. You can't, you have to let them know and show them that you really care, right? So use all of your social media to connect with them and make sure that they know how to connect with you. I can't tell you how many parties I've been to to where people know all the products, but don't have a consultant. I'm like, what? Where is your where is your pyramids partner? Where's your where's your consultant? I don't know. She never I don't have they don't even know where they are. Don't be that person. Like be married to these people. If you're looking to build an empire, these people like they should know your kids. Like, you know, you should know what's going on in their lives. You should be making a connection with them. In your VIP group, same thing. Somebody said something, I don't know who it was. 
but man, it like gut punched me, right? I'm not a big VIP group worker person, right? I'm not really big in my VIP groups. But somebody in the board page said that if you don't spend time in your VIP groups, why would you think your customers would? Ooh, gut punch. That's a really good point. So for those that are talking about that nobody is doing anything or saying anything or responding in their VIP groups, their VIP groups are dead, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you need to spend a little bit more time there. Maybe we need to spend a little bit more time there if you're looking to really, really utilize your VIP group for your business, right? For me, I'm very public with everything, right? You know, I'm a retired recording artist. You know, I'm very open with everything. So I really do most of my stuff openly. I spend more time on my public page than I do spend in my VIP. If I want something to, to change, I've got to do something different, right? If what you're doing is working for you, I'm an avid believer, and if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. But if you don't like the direction in which something's going or not going, then you need to reevaluate and try some different things, okay? All right, the phone. Whenever someone talks to me about wanting to do what I do, or if I see the potential in someone or I'm talking to them, like I brought it up, I immediately save them in my phone as my pure romance daughter. You know why I do that? Because I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting that one day they're going to be my pure romance daughter. They're going to join our team. That's what I'm doing. So in your phone, put those people in there. Or, you know, um, when we have kit sales, things like that, I have a hot leads list. Like create whatever works for you. Everybody's organizational systems are different. I'm not a spreadsheet person. You know, I'm not super organized like that, but I know how to put stuff in my notes in my iPhone. <laughs> okay. And put a list of ladies that I know are interested in the business. You know, like they're ready. They're almost ready. They're ready now, or they're saying down the line. Um, also, there's the money train group, which we've talked about this before, which I don't have time to talk about today, but that is another area where you could actually put people. That's your funnel. You want to make sure you have some way to reach out to them, even if it's a book that you write their names in. Whatever works for you, do it. Doesn't have to be like me, doesn't have to be like anybody else. What works for you, do that. Okay, PR Connect. Listen, first of all, watch the videos on the YouTube channel because if you don't understand how the app works, they really give a lot of detailed information about it. But so cool with the app, you can send samples to people. Um, you can also just share the assets directly to their email, directly to their messenger. You can just follow up with them. You know, like maybe you know that they love Coochie in the Sweet Fantasy. And then we have the Sweet Fantasy bundle that's on sale. That gives you the opportunity to share just with the click of a button to their text messages. Hey, you know, hey, Kimberly, I know that you love Sweet Fantasy and we have a great sale going on in the Sweet Fantasy that I knew I had to reach out to you. Follow up, fortune in the follow up. All right. And then the samples again. Now, listen, don't go crazy with the samples, in my opinion. Don't just go giving out samples all willy nilly unless it's in your budget to do so. Right. Um, but I just feel like a lot of times people will just use the samples or not. You know, um, I'd rather sell them the full product. Right. But if it's you know, you're making a point of contact with someone, if someone asks you for a sample, if someone's curious about a product, definitely send them a sample. I give samples to everybody that shops with me, but I don't make it a habit of just sending them to people just because. OK, but again, do what works for you. That's the beauty of this business is that you do it your way. Okay. All right. Closer. All right. We are almost done here. Let me move this thing out of my way. All right. The closer secure those parties, those leads and those sales. Ladies, you have to, like I said, I've been saying this the whole time. You have to ask for the business. A closed mouth is always going to be a closed business. You have no idea. So, like, think about this shopping room. That one person that comes in your shopping room that doesn't have a toy on their list, try asking them about it and see what happens. I can't tell you countless amount of times I've said to someone that didn't have a toy on their list, you didn't see anything buzzing or I don't see anything buzzing on your list. And then they say, oh, well, I was thinking about that main attraction. <gasps> If I never said anything, they were never going to buy it because they were uncomfortable. They might have been ashamed. They might have been embarrassed. They just didn't know how to ask. Ask for the business, right? 
You want, you need practice parties. Don't be afraid to say to people, listen, I'm really trying to get my business off the ground and I need a couple of practice parties. Would you help me? Don't worry, I've got scripts for you. I'm gonna put them in the roadmap to success, okay? But I'm just going over this with you in the PowerPoint and just wanna want make sure that I can articulate it to you well, that you have to have the conversation. And we're doing what this year? We're crushing fear. So for everybody that's shaking in their boots right now, like, oh my gosh, but I don't wanna go live and I'm afraid to have the conversation. You're not gonna get out of that space unless you get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable at first for those of you that are not used to that. But guess what? Don't you want to live the uncomfortable lifestyle right now so that you can live the comfortable lifestyle later? Or do you want to go the rest of your life just being uncomfortable and being unhappy and not having what you need for you and your family and building a legacy for them? Don't let fear paralyze you from being great, right? Lean on your sisters. We're all here to help you. We're all here to help you to get over that. There's so many women that came into this business shy. You know, there's still some, there's still very shy girls that are killing it in the business. And you know what they do? They get up there at their parties and they become someone else. If Beyonce can do it, so can you, okay? Beyonce is a very shy girl, but Sasha Fierce isn't. She gets on that stage and she becomes someone else. Michael Jackson was very shy. He got on that stage and he became someone else. Tap into your alter ego. You can do this and you can be successful at it. And it doesn't matter what your personality type is. You see Richard Branson and Bill Gates are polar opposites. Richard Branson is an influencer. Bill Gates compliant, total opposites. They're both wildly successful, okay? If you're afraid to talk to people, I remember Dana said something a couple years ago. She used to put magnets on her car. Magnets, like your business card, like put it, turn it into a magnet, put them on, on your car and go into the grocery store. Someone that's interested will take that magnet off of your car. Just like do, plant seeds everywhere. Plant them everywhere. Very, very important, okay? Um, offer incentives based on holidays, seasons. You don't even have to think about this stuff anymore because corporate does it for us, right? Um, corporate does it for us. You can use the incentives. We've got the 12 day, days of Christmas going on. You have so much information that you can get from other leaders because we share everything, okay? Um, you want to use those incentives for holidays, seasons, for bookings, for sponsoring and sales. You know, it's like, my team is having a contest. And, you know, I really want to win this contest. Would you help me? I only need five sales in the next five days, or I need, you know, 24 sales in 24 hours. That's a better one. Okay. I'm actually going to share that script in the group as well. But those are the types of things. Don't be afraid to ask for the business. Okay. Manifest by writing down your goals. Okay. If you're not a believer in manifestations, listen, it works. Trust me, that's why we've got to write stuff down. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I love Rachel, not Rachel Maine, Megan, 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 Megan. I'm going to say Megan good, but it's not. What is Megan's last name? I hate them. Meg, Megan Ulrich. Megan Ulrich said, take your pen and act like it's a magic pen and write down everything that you want to come to pass for you in your life and in your business write it down as if when you write it it's going to come true write it down but then you have to put in the action steps to actually cause it to come to pass you do have to do the work put it out there manifest it write it down and read your affirmations every day read them daily i have a great app for you it's called manifest it's the manifest app and i think it's only for iphone i'm sorry android users i don't know what they have but the Manifest app is an amazing app that you can create your own affirmations. It'll give you affirmations for everything, for health, for business, for love, for all the things. And every day it gives you a reminder. You can set the timer for it to go off for you to read your affirmations. I'm telling you the stuff works, guys, okay? All right, I've got a challenge for you. Challenge for the week, challenge for the week. Look at me coming in hot, Kimberly, with two minutes left. Challenge for the week. And I'm going to follow up with you on this because I'm going to put a post in the um, Roadmap to Social Selling group. And I don't know, I might be feeling generous. I might give something away, okay? But I want you to be integral also with this challenge. You are to book a party on the spot. If you can book more than one, do that. But I want you to go out 
and try some of the things that you heard me talk about. I'll have the scenarios also acted out. I'll post some, I've posted some of those videos in the group. Go out and just challenge yourself to book a party on the spot. Once you do that, oh my gosh, your confidence is gonna be through the roof, okay? Also, I want you to get a minimum of one sale each day this week. So this is Tuesday, Tuesday to Tuesday. Well, the day's gone, we'll start tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday to Wednesday, minimum of one sale each day. Watch your bank account just grow. Don't go to bed until you get at least one sale. Don't worry, I've got scripts for you, okay? And then last but not least, go for the no with sponsoring. And I think Kimberly Buck is gonna put a link in there as well with some great information about going for the no. What does that mean? It means you gotta get in your phone. You gotta call some people. You gotta text some people. You gotta private message some people and ask them, have they ever thought about doing what you do? We've got another kit sale that's gonna be coming up this month. So I want you to go for the no. One week, go hard, right? And see what you're capable of and watch how you float into 2022 fearless and get numbers that you never even imagined you could have. Thank you guys. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. But if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Zig Ziglar, love it. All right, let me stop sharing my page. That's all I got for you. Yes. Hi, Sharon. Now, I'm good. And I'm good. If you guys have questions, I know that we have to end in an hour. But if you guys have questions, I am good to stay on if Kimberly's good just for a few moments to answer any of them if you have them. So put some in the chat while Kimberly's on the phone. I'm watching the chat. Thank you so much, Aspen. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, I'm just wrapping up your business. Yep, yep. Yep, Angela I. Robinson. Mm hmm. Yep, she's, of course, she's killing it. Yeah, you know what? My favorite thing is she told them about this call she made, you know, just kind of a setup kind of call and uh, talked about, she was talking to a hostess and, uh, you know, everybody in the, in the nail salon actually wanted to host a party with her. Yeah, yeah, fabulous, right? Okay, yeah, I'll call you later. All right, bye bye. <laughs> I just did that as an exclamation point. Oh, love it, love it, love <laughs> but you know it. she is going to love that. And you know what? Uh, I I think you you described it best by saying I'm coming in hot. I mean, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> and if you're on TikTok, that's all I could think of. I'm coming in hot, hot. Yeah, coming in. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I am certain that everyone's fingers are probably numb from taking so many fantastic notes. I mean. Uh, that was a rich, rich, rich training. So many nuggets. Here's a good tip for you. We are recording this, so you will be able to find it on the Pure Romance Partner Training YouTube site. Give us a couple days, but it will be up so you can replay it. You can send it to team members. Oh my gosh. Anybody that tells you they can't book a party, they can't sell a product, they what? This is this is the training to send them to. So um, I don't think uh, I feel like everybody was just you know commenting in the chat. I didn't see any questions. I did have a Q and A where someone was at. Sarah was asking about how would you go about giving a goodie bag and then get their information exchange. But I feel like you kind of handled that for us. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to see the scripts because I love sharing scripts as well. So I'm definitely going to check out the Pure Romance Roadmap to Success uh, Facebook page. If you're not already in there, you need to get in there because we share a lot of great training sets. So sounds like Angela is going to put a whole bunch of stuff in there. We'll also make sure to put uh, all the, the links to the things that we added. My coworker Angie added in the chat for us. So Angela, holy guacamole, Van. <laughs> freaking tastic as always as always um yeah so geeked out right now i love that <laughs> <laughs> crushing fear ladies come on now we got this yes what well, you know what before the call even started or right during the introduction i saw everybody writing goat 
queen. Like, oh. I mean, they nailed it. So yeah. you did a fantastic job, Angela. We appreciate your leadership. Thanks for always bringing it. Don't be a stranger. Let's have no. you back sooner that rather than later. Anytime. And uh, <laughs> well, so said, let's all go to Walmart and get them sales. She's got me pumped now. Yes. Uh, and I remember this feeling and use that energy is everything. I always tell people that energy. And when you get around your sisters or you come to trainings, you, you refuel every time. We are the oxygen to each other's businesses. We need each other. Oh, I love that. Yes. Big heart. Uh, so you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for staying a student. Thank you, Angela. As always, we appreciate your fantastic leadership. Thank yes, the gym is a time. great place. Someone asked, was the gym a oh. good place? Absolutely. Anywhere there's women is a great place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great evening, Angela. We appreciate you. Thank you. Good night.